let's go for a ride! You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today! Cycle Cruiser videos brought to you at 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we're gonna go ahead and pull this up right here, baby. Pull it right up to the fucking door so my baby is safe. Safe. Yes, I'm that asshole. But you know what? I wanna make sure my bike is safe, damn it. I gotta take a piss bad. Check it out. My bike's still here. That's good. <laughs> Look at all these bugs, man. Fuck. She look pretty. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Let's go have some fun on this on ramp. I tell you guys, sport bikes versus cruisers, as far as how they age, let me tell you this guys, that unfortunately sport bikes, you know like super sports and super bikes like these bikes, they don't age very well like cruisers do. I mean you can get a, I mean... You could, there's a lot of people out here with old fucking 1970 cruisers and they still look relevant. It's like a timeless design. You know, even a lot of these newer bikes look like the older bikes when it comes to the cruisers. But you know, these super bikes and super sports, you're riding around on a, on a fucking old ass Honda Hurricane or something. Like it looks old as fuck. It looks dated. Big ass square fucking headlights. Big wide as fuck. And uh, it just, it looks dated. And uh, you know, as where the cruisers, they're just timeless classics. They just, they stick, tend to stick with the same styles. You know, they have come out with more innovative designs with cruisers like the Ducati X Diablo. Uh, but for the most part, they stick to the same designs, pretty much. They may tweak things here and there, but it still pretty much looks like the old, the bikes of yesterday's. So you can keep those bikes, you keep them in pristine condition, they'll be uh, easy to sell in the future, you know. As where these super bikes, I mean, you got an old ass, like say you got a, a CBR 900 RR, like a 1993 or something. It's old as fuck. It looks old as fuck. It just, you know, I'm not hating on it. And uh, it's, it could be still, all, you know, these Hondas last forever. And uh, you could put them through hell and they'll still be fine. But they just won't look as cool anymore like cruisers. Cruisers will always look cool. They'll always just, people will, will love them. They'll look cool. But the super bikes just, they look dorky after some point. <laughs> That's why a lot of guys they only keep Superbike for a few years and then they get a new one. Because you know the design just gets kind of old and stale after a while. Um you know, but some company, you know, some bikes like the BMW S1000R, they actually got uglier. You know, the older ones look, you know, the they came out with the new design. Uh, it's not really much a new design, but they changed the headlights and the front fairing on, on the BMW S1000R in like 2015, I think, or 16 or 15, 15, I think. And it actually looks uglier than the older one, the 2012s to 2014s, or left, should I say 2011 to 2014. Um, 
the CBR 1000 double R actually I think the older ones look even a little I thought they looked better but since I've had this bike I think these look better now <laughs> but they they all look you know they look great you can ride around on a 2007 uh, older 2000 uh, five or six or whatever uh, CBR 1000 double R and they still look relevant you know but when you start going into the 90s they just don't look cool as more they, they tend to be bulkier too some of the older ones you know so it's just these are always evolving super bikes I think that's really the main issue here is that super bikes continue to evolve with its aerodynamics and, uh, and it's electronic rider aids and all that shit. As where cruisers, it's pretty much a space to say. They may add fuel injection. You know, a lot of them now have fuel injection. But that's about it. They don't really change too much. They may change the motor up a little bit. But it's not a big change. As far as the aesthetics of it, pretty much looks the same as the old bikes. That's one thing I really admire about the cruisers is that they do timeless beauty. They, 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 they don't age. They stay the same. Unfortunately, yes, these bikes, you know, you know, that's where they get a bad rap, these super sports. Uh, really, mainly though, these super sports are really, you know, for the track, to be honest with you. These are not street bikes. These are designed primarily for the track, performance at the track. Uh, so to be fair, and you know track bikes do not last a, a long time because you wear you know you're you're hard on the bike it gets a lot of stress those engines go through a lot of stress and those bikes get a lot of wear and tear so those bikes really are not meant to be timeless beauties you know like cruisers but i just thought i'd share you know my, my perception i don't know what do you, how do you guys feel about it you feel the same way i do I don't know, I want to hear you guys' thoughts. But that's all I have for you guys in this video. If you want to see more of my videos, go to my website, psychocruiser.com. Click on the menu tab, My Videos. All my videos are categorized in the various playlists. Hopefully you can find something that will inform you or entertain you. Hey, subscribe to my All One Motorcycle channel. Hit thumbs up if you like this video. Share this video with your friends. And I appreciate all you guys, and I hope you guys all stay safe out there. And, uh, hey, take care. And I'm, I'm going to try to get away from these big-ass fucking buses and trucks and shit, man. It can set you up for a real fucked-up day. Drop a gear. Disappear, baby. Check out my other channel, Psycho Cruiser Motor Vlogs, where I discuss anything and everything, not just motorcycle shit.